Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. Welcome back to Reforged Eden and Oscatune. Uh, my lovely ocean planet, Paradise. Uh, I'm on the way to see Polaris. Now, a few things have changed since the last episode. It's been a few days, so I have done some stuff off camera. First of which is a massive update to the hover vessel here. It is now a miner. Um, and I've textured it and everything, which is crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that, but it's mostly made out of plastic, and I hate the plastic texture. So I did build myself a little texture gun and go around it and paint it in the uh, sort of the style of the Scavenger Alliance, which I've been using more and more as my kind of uh, benchmark for sort of color scheme, I suppose you could say. So yeah, I've turned it into a little hover miner, um, and I've been going around and dug, dug up a few deposits. Um, Obviously, I, did, I didn't do it in Polaris territory here. I did it over, uh, dug up some of the Xeraxi ones and stuff like that. That around 40% over there. That was my doing, I think. Um, that's no, I couldn't get to that one. That silicon is my doing. The cobalt is my doing. Yeah. So I've been around. I've dug up some deposits. Uh, I did have two Promethean deposits over by my base here, except I accidentally deleted one because apparently, using six drills to dig up a very small Promethean deposit, it went from 90% to zero in one tick so um yeah i think i'll be hand mining that other promethean deposit out because it's too risky using the six drills that promethean deposit is now gone that is permanently deleted is that a drone in polaris territory it is smega can go away right there's a minigun aero drone over there um this thing doesn't have a shield of course because it is still just a tier one of a vessel it does have the turret on the top as you can see but still um, also, we got some company here. There's the Brutus M. One of the other players on the server must have set up some camp nearby. I hope that drone hasn't destroyed his thing. That would suck. It looks okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks fine. It hasn't been gutted or anything, I don't think. Um, cool little SV. Ah, very nice. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm just coming up to Polaris here because I want to do some trading. Uh, while I was off camera as well, I rerun the abandoned depot off camera. Uh, and, and sort of got a lot more sort of salvage and loot from it uh, for a second time. Uh, I rerun it because um, the first run I did, although I salvaged some of it on camera, it was pretty much as soon as I ended the recording of that episode, I went off... Um, and I had to go and do real life stuff. So I couldn't salvage the rest of it. And when I came back, it had regenerated. So I was like, well, I want my, my stuff. I want my loot. I, I want my salvage. Um, so I rerun it off camera. And I did get a few extra bits and nice bits and bobs from it on the second run. Uh, mostly, I got, a, I got a laser pistol, as you can see here, the LS38 Advanced Laser Pistol, which is very nice. And I did get the laser rifle I got from the first run, actually. I haven't even got that equipped anymore. Um, but I did get some nice uh, large bridges. So we, we got the matrices. I oh, know, the other way around. I think we got the bridges first, and now we got the matrices. Anyway, I'll show you that all when we get back to base, because I want to sell all of this juicy stuff here. Uh, we got some more undelivered cargo. Uh, night vision goggles, some drills. The multi-tools I can't sell. Uh, the light armors, I believe I can, and the boosts, I believe I can as well. So we're going to give that a go. Let me just... Um pop the meat in the fridge there. We're going to definitely give this a go. Let me connect to that. I don't think I'll need to, but it's in, you know, we'll see. Um, so let's do the undelivered cargo first, because, oh boy, because one of those is a Polaris one, and the other one is a, is a pirate one, so we grab those two. Let's see what it says this time. Hello, hello, hello. Galactic Network. I've got missing cargo. Da, 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 da. I found no transfer tag. This will be, hey pal, thanks for that. There's a thousand credits. Return to package menu. Polaris Habitat. Thank you. Polaris would like to remind you that theft of opening of company property will be punished under Galactic Law. Oh. <laughs> and that gives me a thousand as well. Okay, so pretty cool. Right, so um, that's pretty nice actually, because that seems to give us more rep with said factions. Um, than say you know going out killing the freaking predators for three years uh my efforts have barely scratched the surface of you know gaining rep so anything else that gives me polaris rep is very good um one of the other things i wanted to see is if this goes anywhere yes oh my god i have not discovered that many systems so is this all the systems that are in rage in this that's amazing so there's the delta sector 
trading station in orbit. UCHN Odyssey in orbit as well. Wow. Because <laughs> uh, we're obviously on Oscar Tune. I can't even see in this bloody list. It's probably in there somewhere. Um, I don't know. It was one of these trading stations. The, the, my, what my worry is, can I get the hell back here? Because you've got Haven Sector Kennex Station up there and blah, 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 blah. So we could actually, if I can, if I can pick up all that stuff, which I can, I can sell it as much of it here as possible and then just nip off over to another trade station. My worry is, can I find this bloody one? Uh, let's see. What can I sh sell? I can sell two mechanical drills because uh, I've got a spare one there and I can sell uh, I can't sell the lizard I don't have that I have an insulation boost and, an, and a multi boost so and, da, 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 da. and this guy you know I could buy the magnesium from from Promethean from blah 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 blah. okay so I think I think that's it that's all I can sell to you good sir um, you might be like why Spanj why why <laughs> why is your balance 200 million <laughs> Well, my balance is 200 million because um, at the end of the last server, we were still doing death race events. And one of the rewards for a death race was um, credits. So we would get credit reward for uh, coming first, second or third. Well, I got 200 million worth of first places. So there we go. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Nothing to see here, don't worry. Uh, a lot of the other guys have uh, also cashed in their rewards from victories of death races and stuff like that. Uh, we only started doing it, I think when we did the SV death races, we, it was when we started taking um, or banking the rewards for the next server. And so most people, myself included, started banking the rewards. And thus, I haven't actually, I don't think at this time, well, I mean, hopefully by this time the episode comes out, I've given everyone their dues, but... Uh, at this point, I know there's a few guys out there still waiting for them. Sorry about that. I will get around to you as soon as possible. Uh, right, so that's the mini guns. So I've got mini guns, sniper rifles, single multi tools, and another laser pistol to get rid of. And none of these guys can buy that stuff here. Okay, let's take the plunge, shall we? Let's go for a little wander across the stars. Uh, we're going to stick to the Delta sector because my process of elimination. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> it's one of these. I assume. Uh, the, 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 the teleporter that you're stood on doesn't appear in this list. So when I go to, say, teleport to this trading station here, your reputation is not good enough. Oh, you are a penis. Damn it, I got excited then. And it's freaking, um, ah. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Alert. Problem. Problem. I left the damn thing off. Why don't I leave it off? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can shoot me. Just don't shoot my freaking hover vessel. Yeah. Bastard. Polaris, why are your turrets not shooting this son of a bitch? Honestly. I need gun elevation. Sit down, you freaking... I literally just put this hover vessel together and painted it! I painted it, damn it! How many blocks have I lost? Actually. Heavy damage to these plastic blocks. They're on a carbon substrate, you see, so they're gonna exactly take, take a lot of a beating. Um, grab your bits. What a bastard! I should have left it on. It's my, my fault. Should have left it on. Still, um, successfully defended. Okay, so no worries, and I can't go out and trade to the other stations unless I can get friendly with Polaris, uh, and then. <sighs> And then I will be able to. It will be fine. Um, but for now, I'm stuck with the traders that are in there. Okay, that was the other thing I wanted to do today. Was go to the... Because I'm going to try and pretend that I haven't got 200 million credits. <laughs> Basically, save my account. Because uh, I could just go and buy the grow plots. But let's go and salvage the grow plots. If we can, bearing in mind that we can't put a core in, um, in the ship down here. We got the Titan front to our south. Now, if we can get in there and salvage those grow plots, then I can put them in my base. And then I subsequently can put them in my CV when I get the CV later. Um, at worst, they might give me nutrient solution instead of the whole grow plots. It's fine. It's fine. Nutrient solution is no problem. I can then make the grow plots back at base. It's all good. That's another thing. I need to catch you guys up. I've done a lot of work on the base off camera. So, um... 
I need to show you guys that as well. Okay, here we go. There, we're directly above. Crash tight in front. A lot of you guys saying that there's a lot of stuff under the water as well. And I've not been going underwater. Right. You're gonna nice you're gonna hover here, aren't you? Good lad. Right, I don't know if we're gonna be able to stay connected here, but we'll try. Go for a swim. There is this crash tight in front. And I have a mechanical drill on me. Hopefully it works underwater. Um, I might be able to drill out some of the sections that we didn't last time. Now, where's the bloody way in again? Not that end. That's the front. That's got a hole breach. Around the back. See, I look underwater here. I mean, I guess I'm around a POI or whatever. So there's just doesn't like there's a lot around. A few rocks. I think I see a pentaxic crystal or promethean crystal over there. There's these seaweeds. I think I could pick up there. Magnesium rocks as well. Magnesium could become very very useful. Biological specimen. I'm about to leave the remote logistics -y sort of area. I can get this, get some magnesium ore out of it. Let's get in here and let's do what we came here to do. Um, I'm back in Wi-Fi range. Food is low. Grab a ration pack. Okay, here we go. So, we connect back to that. Let's put all this stuff back in there. Okay. I will try and retrieve the whole block, but honestly, likely not going to get the whole block. And most of these are just giving us plastic tubes. Every now and again they give us nutrient solution. Might be able to get a plot or two out of this. I don't know. It's not looking good. Still, nutrient solution is good. That's going to help. Because otherwise we need lots of like rotten food and stuff. Just don't sort of have that really. Cobalt alloy as well actually. Not bad. There's another nutrient solution. Okay, so probably not going to get any of the whole plots out of this. Never mind. Uh, if you guys are playing single player, though, you can just slap a core into this thing and away you go. You'll get all these plots. Very tidy, but, you know, plenty of nutrient solution out of this. We're going to have more than enough for our own grow plots. I think, bizarrely, you can only make uh, the steel grow plots out of an advanced constructor or something ridiculous like that. Um, oh, ah, damn it. Do you know what? I should have saved. I should have saved. I should have saved my uh, ration pack. I waited for that. Never mind. Uh, right, okay, so we can we can drill down. I don't think this is going to take a little while, and I'm not quite sure. I can't remember exactly what is down here, if it's even worth it. Uh, but it might be worth a look while I've got oxygen in the tank. Just conscious, obviously, the hover vessel on the surface there has got a single gap. So if a drone comes along, I'll need to leave, try and save it. As, uh, it will, although it will shoot back, it's going to take a lot of damage in return. This is going to take a while with the mechanical drill as well. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Okay, well, I gave up on that. There's nothing there. There's nothing at the bottom of uh, that bit of the tire. There may be a thruster or something down there, right? But. The hand drill, I just, I, just, I gave up. <laughs> uh, not ashamed to admit, I gave up. Anyway, welcome back to the base. As you can see, uh, I have done some stuff to it. I have slightly adjusted it. It may be a little bit different from when you last saw it. <laughs> oh, we still got the three basic turrets set up, but I've put an awning over over what is the hover garage, I suppose. Um, more solar panels. That turret's been raised up. There is 320 KSU storage, or sorry, kiloliters, or whatever it is now, uh, embedded in that bit there. And then um, this is where the SV is going to go, by the way, which is ready to spawn in. We'll spawn that in in a second. And then inside we've got the cargo containers that were there before. There's the 320 KSU storage. Um, which we can offload all this lot into, actually. And um, posters there's our constructors constructors little there's the extender that we got from the abandoned depot there we go that's pretty much it oh and this is where this is where the garden plots are going to go except i now have yet another 
and I, now that I've logged out and back in again, let me just see. Uh, if we I need to disconnect from that, base blocks of devices, grab a concrete block. One, nope. Yet another, yet another invisible block uh, hampering my base here. Uh, these are becoming very frustrating to work with. Uh, so, yeah, um, I figure I'm going to put something over the top of that because I've got a bathroom type thing going on here. So, uh, maybe I'll put a toilet there and then this will just be grow plots. And there we go. That'll be it. The med station that we got from um, the abandoned depot as well. So, all good. All my food. Pretty, pretty decent um, upgrade. Nice view. Uh, obviously not textured yet, but it will be. Okay. Turned you off. Let's have a little look then. Now that the sun is setting. <laughs> we'll have a quick look. <laughs> at uh, the Ark Mirage by Hacker Diver. Uh, first winner of our, our, our little um, competition. This is a nice looking SV. I was going to say excited already look at this okay um second diver fantastic builder on the workshop check him out i'll put a link here to the mirage on in the video description so you guys can go and check it out as well if you want to that is a fantastic way of connecting wings to the hull you know, i've always been a bit annoyed with these wing blocks because they they don't they only connect the full block and then you get this kind of nasty little lip thing here as you can see at the top of that wing what an echo diver has done here is he's actually used this module here to bridge the gap and that's a fantastic idea uh, I like that very nice and then the other wing is they're sort of somewhat embedded and behind these blocks but yeah we got pipes excellent we've got thin glowy bits excellent we've got a, a, a lovely looking nose on this thing uh, front mounted cockpit twin gats and on the top here we've got ourselves Nice ammunition controller with 5,000. A container controller with 3,000. And a nice little fridge. There is an O2 station embedded there. There's the fridge, and that's the container controller with the 3,000. Detector, Wi Fi, and looks like we could take that detector off. And there is space in there perhaps for CPU extensions. Oop, I fell off. And some nice quad thrusters going on there with extra glowies. Very nice very very nice okay i might need to oh it's just over cpu 94 percent efficiency that's okay that's not bad let's grab a bit of fuel don't know why that's in there uh consumables boss fusion cells that are gathered from various places there we go we are airborne unarmed but we're airborne i'm just gonna give her a quick little fly around the Mirage. No shield yet. I wonder, I'm hoping it can fit one though. Airborne, ladies and gents. Absolutely airborne. Maxed out 70 meters a second. As you'd hope. And we're going to have a nice little look around our planet. From the sky. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I have done some a uh, little bit of exploring. I have circumnavigated off camera. As you can see, I did take the hover vessel all the way around the planet. Uh, so there's a big sort of collection of resources quite far away over there. There is another abandoned depot right here. I don't know why the name is suddenly not coming up. That's a bit weird. There's another abandoned depot right there, which is quite funny. <laughs> so between, there we got uh, two abandoned depots and an abandoned bunker right here, <laughs> right next to where my base is. Um, uh, hopefully we're going to get all the loot we need in order to get the equipment we need. Okay, so what I'm going to do to this thing is uh, build some ammunition, get those gats loaded up. I might see if I can uh, get a tier 2 in it and um, maybe a shield. I don't know. It would be nice to get a shield in, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to do some open heart surgery on this thing in order to see what space I have available inside it and see what I can do with it. But it flies reasonably nice. It's quite slow on the turn and the yaw and the pitch and stuff that's not necessarily a bad thing it's controllable it's not overly twitchy the yaw is good the yaw is in a sweet spot I like the, the 
sorry, the pitch is good. The, the yaw is a little bit sluggish for my liking, but for a, a tier one starter SV, you know, come on. Um, this thing has no extension in it, so makes makes it fine. Absolutely fine. Right, okay, we have some night vision as well. Let's park this back on top. Get me some bits and bobs. See if I can upgrade it to tier two. Arm it, shield it, and then we got ourselves a nice little attack craft that we might be able to do something with. All right. Okay, so the resources I have to work with here um, are not bad. I've got a restroom and a scosium for crying out loud. The one thing that I am short on at the moment is actually Sathium. Um, yeah, and, and other things like Neo. I don't have any Sathium or Neo. I've got Titanium and la da da da. Okay, so SVs then. Oh yeah, we need to do some unlocking. SVs. Okay, so yeah, rocket launcher, laser turrets, guided missile launchers. These rocket launchers aren't bad. CPU 1400. Okay, they are a little bit bad. Uh, the guided ones are 1800 as well. Okay, 1800, 400 more. Fine. Laser cannons, great if we need to take shields down, but I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon. The taxid and light shield generator. And then you've got the standard shield generator and the heavy shield generator. Oh, baby. Yeah, they got trauma stations. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. CPU extender basic and improved and advanced. Don't think we're going to get anywhere near that, but you never know. They've also got long range radar for SVs now as well. Amazing. And the auxiliary cores, which require stuff that they just don't have. Like, uh, Palanum. <laughs> oh, look at these lasers. Oh my god. So many cool weapons now for SVs. Industrial multi-tool. Removing, repairing blocks and devices on an SV? Oh my god. That's badass. That's badass. <laughs> How many of those can you have? Can you have like six of those that just blast through multi-tooling? Unlimited ammo. Amazing. Maximum amount six. Amazing. I'm so excited. Bomb launchers. I've never used the bomb launchers. I might actually need to do that. Uh, and of course railguns. Railguns actually being very, very good and powerful in Reforged Eden. Unlike they are uh, in, in vanilla. They are useless in vanilla. But in Reforged, these are one of the most powerful guns you can have. Which makes sense. The railguns rip through blocks. Uh, no no explosion damage, but the damage 3,780 uh, with a rate of fire of 40. Basically 40 blocks deep a minute, just with one of them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got lots of options. Okay, so let's see. Um, can we get then... We can. We can get a basic CPU extender and we can build a pentaxi tank and a shield. So let's go ahead and grab those, get them constructing now. Meanwhile... Uh, let's get you working on yet more 15 millimeter, please, sir. Just make a bunch. Okay, maybe not that much, but you know, a bunch. Um, I have some bombs that I've scavenged from um, the base attack drones that have come along. I'm not sure. I mean, I might see if we can slap a couple of bomb launchers on this thing. They might take the old... Um, they are quite high. 2,850 CPU. Oh, boy. Um, 7,000 explosion damage with a radius of 6. I, I kind of want to play with one just for fun, though, you know? <laughs> I can unlock it! Uh, there's a lot of CPU. That's the only drama. So the standard rocket launch is a 1,400 CPU. So if I, I've already got one of those in blocks of devices. We have two laser cannons, and we have a rocket launcher. Let's get a rocket launcher. There we go. Okay. That's all going to take a little while to build. Let's do some open heart surgery on the Mirage and see what we, we've got to play with. One of the other things I did get from my second run of the Abandoned Depot, T2 Multi-Tool, uh, which is amazing. Big win on that one. Okay, let's take you off. Dig you out. Okay, we have a fair bit of space to play around with in here, don't we? Uh, that is fantastic. Perfect. Space for shield, extenders. Maybe we might need more generators. How many gens has it got? Um, lots of ungrouped stuff. Group generators. Just the one. One single small generator. That's not going to cut it. We are going to need more generators. Okay. No problemo. Large constructor. Look at that. It's eating through it. Give me another generator. 
another fuel tank as well while you're at it and hopefully that will be enough for a tier one extender but not i think we can get an improved small optronic bridges eight of them well we don't have any smalls i've only got the large optronics and stuff but i have gold and a fair bit of copper and silicon and iron thanks to my endeavors of mining endeavors so perhaps we can get it to build us an, Im an improved but let's wait to see what we're dealing with before we slap that on okay the gats are keep because they're quite good for surgical hits on drones uh the missile launchers oh, i have no idea where i'm going to put them i think maybe just next to uh the gats here and as for the bomb launcher not a clue <laughs> not a clue I'll, I'll figure something out maybe we'll put it in the nose i don't know I don't know how it works. <laughs> I assume it works just like a rocket launcher, except you have to aim up a bit, you know? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's see. We've got we got our detector, the Wi-Fi that we took out. There's our extended pentaxid shield generator, two rocket launchers, and um, the, the, the extra generator and stuff will be along soon. First of all, the shield... Oh, okay, come on. Up, come on, jump. Come on. So make me get my drone out shield generator um this slot can we pay Ooh. i just want that raised up one really right it's so close to the bottom of the ship um pentaxi tank this is uh this is tight <laughs> taxi tank and there's our extender okay and we should have an extra fuel tank and a generator hopefully that's enough to keep this thing going the extra fuel tank what's in that space that I can't put something in that space I can't I don't know because I can't crouch <laughs> if I could crouch I could see what's going on underneath that but I can't so there we go um, okay we'll put, just put that there and we'll put that oh, there apparently um, put our Wi-Fi box back for the detector inside. I don't really care that it's outside, on side, what side. Um, there we go, side. Uh, and then we've got a plastic block there. There we go. Okay. And that, uh, ooh, before we uh, do anything, we've got 12,000 CPU to play with. We're at 9,400. Uh, these two rocket launchers are pretty much maxed that out then. Okay, we're just going to slap these right next to the existing gap which does mean getting rid of some glowies which is such a shame it's okay it's in the glowies place will be two slap up rocket launchers and what I could do really really upset about the glowies <laughs> is I could just put them back and put it in a different way um, we could do we could do with something like this Yeah. Do not fear, Glowies. You will be avenged. I have a plan for you. Alright, so then... This, this one and the glowy texture. There we go. And then uh, we just power that on. There you go. The glowies, the glowies are still there. They're just in a different, different way. It's fine. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, so that's taken us now up to just over twelve thousand. Ninety-six percent efficiency is back. <laughs> that didn't change much, did it? Uh, I do want to make sure. Uh, wrong button. That the generator isn't going to overload if I load the. Um, the shields so if we go for oh is that all my pentaxid do I have any raw I have lots of elemental but not much raw that's fine it'll do uh, a little bit of it I suppose I don't have any oxygen but that's okay because um, some oxygen is useful of course going in orbit and whatnot and ammunition I don't think I've got any missiles nope I will need some but we can have the 4,000 yeah, in the meantime right okay 
disconnect let's go make some missiles load this thing up and uh, get its shield charging make sure it doesn't overload its generators so generators holding at 13.5 percent enable shields shields are charging generators holding at 17 percent move the damn ship around okay 58 percent while moving i don't think we're in trouble i think that's fine 61 percent good that's good Generator is not going to overload. That's amazing. Guys, we've got shields. we got shields. This is awesome. <laughs> we are airborne. We have shields. I have rockets making now in the base here. Okay. So once they've got... I've got some more rockets. Let's power this down a sec. Um, We're going to go and have a little poke at some of this stuff. We've got a long range radar over there. I'm not sure I'm ready for that one. That's beast. Uh, we turn territory view on. There's some Xerox stuff here that I want to have a little peek at. And um, yeah, we're going to see if we can cause some trouble among the Xeraxian scumbags. There is also the patrol vessel, um, which I might have a little dig at. That might be fun. Yeah, let's go take that patrol vessel out. Screw that guy. Yeah, cool. As soon as the ammunition is finished making, let's do it. I do actually want to build myself a little drill, actually, though. I got... Hang on. Yeah, laser drill. Um... Oh, that can only be made in the advanced constructor. Brutal. Uh, okay, well, I'm connected to input. Let's see if we can... Amazing. <laughs> Big win. Big win. Okay, wow, we got an advanced constructor already, guys. Things are accelerating. My plans are accelerating. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's... Yeah, what have I got? I got that. I need um, a few more of the drill charges. Then I can also get rid of that and I can get my standard drill into the trade box. And then when this thing is finished building that, turn on please. Uh, oh, you can have a laser drill. Sweet. I do need magnesium. I've run out of magnesium already. There's a little bit of magnesium in here, um, but not enough to make any more than four miss, uh, 54 missiles. <laughs> Which isn't bad. That's, you know, it's a good 25 shots, basically. Um, but I don't know how much damage they're going to be doing, really, realistically, to patrol vessels still. Uh, we're going to give it a go. That is yeah, wrong one. Base. Disc. Bingo. There we go. Okay. We're good to go. Let's do this. Oh, I have only just looked inside the cabin here. Look at the uh, look at the heads-up display on this thing. Oh, that is shiny. That is shiny. I like that. Right, reload the uh, rockets. Shields are still charging. Rockets are still reloading. There we go. 20 rounds uh, in the rockets. We've got 600 plus an extra 3,000 in the gats. Shields are now charged. It's still thinking about disconnecting me from my... <laughs> really? Just disconnect already, come on. Stop it. I'm miles away from my base. You should even be slightly connected. Uh, right, okay. The patrol vessel, then, is somewhere to the south. She have a bit of light somehow. Let's see if we can spot this thing. It's going to be around here somewhere. Shields are up. Loving this. This is a complete paradigm shift in power. Where is that scumbag patrol vessel? There it is. Alright. Turn these things off. We don't need that anymore. What's better? Night vision or no night vision? Night vision, I suspect. While we're uh, engaging this thing, I don't think this thing has a shield. So we are just going to go in. It is a light shield generator we're sporting, so we do have to be careful here. But this patrol vessel is about to get shot the hell down. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's see. Radar's patrol vessel detected. I see one turret on the top there, I think. Going for a slightly closer look. I need to be careful because this thing is moving, so I need to lead my shots. I am taking fire. Okay, I need to lead my shots a lot more than I was. That's about right. I have to be careful not to let my shields drop. 
hitting the turret dead on. I'm not sure how many hit points it's got left. But I'm going to keep firing until my shields are about to drop. I think keeps adjusting its speed. Shields are about to drop. Okay, now the turret's gone. The turret's gone. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the top of its defense. Now, the other thing is, I don't know where, say, its fuel tanks are, core is, and stuff like that. But I'm going to take a guess. I need, again, I need to lead my shots. I don't know how much block damage this is really going to be doing. But I'm aiming for the A on Rados. And again, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to run out of ammo here before I do anything significant. This is it. This will be the last um, reload, I guess. I could surgically remove these thrusters, um, and then it should fall to the ground. Got to be careful though, because if I get let this thing get it above uh, where I'm currently, I was obviously doing circles at the moment, trying to figure out. It does make the aiming slightly more difficult. But I've got to be careful not to allow those turrets on the bottom to start shooting me. Shields have gone back up now, so it's not too bad. But yeah. Which if I remove these rear thrusters, maybe it will fall to the ground. And it'll be done. Well, this thing has almost, almost pushed me into orbit. But I've got its last thruster now. I'm just going to pop this thing. And hopefully, that's it. I don't know to be sure. It's been a while since I've taken one of these things out, and I've always gone for the core. All right. It seems to have stopped it dead rather than dropped it to the floor, but that's okay. Uh, because if it's stopped dead, maybe I can get on board. If there is such a way on board. I'm still trying to avoid the bottom of the ship, because in the bottom of the ship, there's like. At least two guns, I think. I don't know. Maybe three. Is there a way on board? Not an obvious one. Yeah, being shot at, being shot at. Well, if there isn't an obvious way on board, maybe we can just make our own way on board. I was having a go at these blocks here. They can't have many hit points left after I pounded them with the rockets and stuff, but... Uh, all I've got left, really, are the gats. I've got a couple of shots on the rockets, but I'm going to save them just in case. Uh, it will take a little while to eat through this with uh, with 15 mil. I'm just hoping that there's... I think this is probably a plate, and there's probably another block under this A. Probably. Um, I can't really tell. Is that a... Yeah. Oh, that's a cargo box, actually. Hang on, then. Let me, let me try something. This is probably risky. Who knows what the ship is going to do if I touch it. Did just give a little bit of a wobble then. There we go, I think it's stabilised. Oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you... Whatever, I'll come back to you in a second. It is. What are you... <laughs> Elian! What are you doing? Why are you doing this? We're in. Hi! What's up? <laughs> I'm taking your vegetables. I can't. For some reason that... that. Can, I, can I get through that? Other faction? All of the doors are locked. I've boarded the enemy ship! I've just destroyed a pumpkin. I am so upset with myself right now. This is some... Oh, these are growing. Lame! Why does Xerax have a, a ship full of... Have a food? I don't care. I'm taking it. This is the most valuable stuff right now. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, fridges. I'll, I'll take your milk. That's right, Xerax. Taking your milk. What are you going to do about that, huh? There's a freaking constructor here. Okay. my The mage is still in range, so I'm so just taking advantage of this, I suspect. 
I can't change the structure with a multi-tool. Oh, yes, but I need to core it first, don't I? Um, right, where would the core be? This is the question. I think that's, like... Is it? Is that the bridge? That can't be the bridge. I'm at the rear of the ship. Die, door! These are, like, quarters and stuff. Screw... Oh, sweet dreams, Captain. <laughs> oh, is it screw you, Captain? <laughs> I mean, that would be apt. Okay, so that's... Um, there's two captains on board this ship, apparently. Take that. Take that. Get rid of that. Shoot through all the doors. Bloody irritating. How often is it you board an actual planetary patrol vessel? This doesn't happen very often, does it? Oh, hello, boyoa. Um, this is going to be interesting, because as soon as I blow this core, right... Uh, I need to get back out here, up there, hope the parkour doesn't fail, and somehow get in my ship before I fall to my death. <laughs> this is going to go well, guys. Do not fear. I, um, I have a plan. I don't have a plan, but I'm going to do what I can. Alright, here we go. Take the uh, ammo, ammo and the... Ooh, hello, cheeky. Silicon ore, thank you very much. Uh, let's put you in the container controller. Fuel tanks. Already looted you. We got RCSs. See, there's some good stuff in this ship. There's so few of it can I actually get just because of... Um, wow, what the hell. Woohoohoo. Okay, I am burning up. Um... Big hot spots there. And that, I assume, just goes out of the ship. No worries. Okay. Alright. I think I've got as much loot as I can get. Without, you know, burning to death because of this ship's old ass design. Okay, here we go. Um. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? Is this like. You are dehydrated. Drink some stuff. Oh, oh, fruit juice doesn't count towards dehydration because of reasons. It's still liquid and it cools you down, but it doesn't count. Uh, oh, it did actually. Tell a lie. Sorry, I'm being, I'm being an ass. Um, I need my stamina to come back. That's the problem. Uh, but I've got heat stroke. That is going to go out, and that is going to go out, isn't it? Those are the entrances. So I'm just going to have to do what I can. Get out, Mum. <sighs> oh no, it's going! It's going! I need to get into my cockpit, but I can't. I'm all, I'm all between the wings. It's going. No, don't knock me off! Cockpit! Nailed it. I'm fine. Absolutely nailed it. It's no problem, see? Bye-bye, ship. Cheers. <laughs> we got it. Nailed the patrol vessel. Nailed it. Good. Good and proper. Off it trots. Down it goes. Never to bother anyone again. Big win. For the little guy. Plop. Plopty plop. And all over it goes. Have it, bitch. What do you think about that, huh? Now it'll do the classic Imperion thing of despawning before anybody can do anything with it. Are you are you kidding me, Raptors? Really? Hang on. Something's really wrong here. There we go. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Right. I will deal with you, Raptors. I will deal with you. Just give me a second to get my bearings well. Come on. Get out of here. What do you want? Ah! Seriously, I'm trying to salvage a ship right now. Could you guys knob off? They're like, ooh, a ship has landed. Quick, go kill the pilot.
weird lag. Come on, this ship has been here for like the longest a patrol ship has ever been on the surface. And I want its bits. I want... You need access. I'm not doing anything to this. Oh, I yeah. am. Tell a lie. It just wasn't registering on the old thingy-majiggy. Yes. Give me your bits. Give me all your bits. I don't know what I'm getting right now. I'm just sort of wanging my uh, multi-tool around to see what it does. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that one. I want... Thank you. Siskosium alloy. Big win. The lag is real. It doesn't know where I am. It doesn't know how I'm inside this ship. The game is trying to compute how this is possible. It can't figure it out. The ship is neither here nor there. <laughs> I think that door is... No, I don't know what... <laughs> <laughs> and then what's that? What's it? Can't go in here. Can't do that. I'm through. Let me in. Let me in. I'm in. Yeah. So you go. Now come on. Slowly it is letting me into the ship. Very, very slowly. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Jetpack. 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 Up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It shouldn't be working, but it, it should be. No, it's, there's like a lag on, on whether the block is there or not. Yeah. I want I want those bits. I want those thrusters. I want the fuel. I want I want it all. Come on, let me let me in. Let me in. It's like it's like an invisible ceiling right now. These are enclosed medium thrusters. I'm having these. Give me them. AI AI planet vessel is destroyed and will despawn. Not before I salvage living bejesus out of it, it won't. Give me the fuel. Give me all the fuel. Yes! Now the fuel tank, down the thrusters. Quick, before it, inventory full. Screw you and your full inventory. Connect to the ammo box. It's got 5,000 in it. Go. No! It's disappearing! <laughs> no! Yeah, it's fading on me. I can still get the thrusters. Please. <laughs> Let me salvage. Let me salvage the thrusters. <laughs> they have a modded all. <laughs> no. Anything. They're weirdly stuck inside it right now. It has swallowed me whole. Take that. Take the landing gear. Take that. Take the take the thruster. Take take go on. Stop lagging. Just get on with it. Yeah, this is the problem with patrol vessels. It's like this crazy lag. Like between actually destroying a block and then actually thinking that you've destroyed the block. Just gonna sit there and wait for it to catch up. There we go. It will despawn. Uh, let's see what we can get on the old drone. Get any more thrusters. Don't wait for it. There we go. We go inside with the drone. Oh look, the drone is a little bit more free. Yeah. What the goodies I'm getting. Come on. Shooting the, I'm shooting the thruster. Register, register. Thank you. Get this uh, offline protection. The flux coils, see? Getting the flux coils. This is good news. These are only smalls. Come on, register. Burning multi tool charges here. Update. Come on, update, update. Let's go, let's go. It's not having it. these mediums this is what I want the medium thrusters oh now we're getting a bit of a response yes so this is the first time I think I have had success salvaging a patrol ship this is amazing I filled I filled the inventory up I've only got a little bit left of my own inventory now and that's filled instantly with motors and computers <laughs> ah well um this fridge has a bit of stuff that I need to put in it. Okay. So I'm full. The ammunition container's full. The container controller's full. But the ship is still here. It can still be salvaged. This is incredible. They just wish there were other people here that could, that could take this apart with me. And, and you know, revel in the, in the salvage. That'd be amazing. 
But there we go. Rana's patrol vessel. Dead skis! Absolutely decimated, Sunshine. No more. Thank you, the Mirage here, which is now... What the hell is that? Ah, oh, come on, take off, take off, take off. Good girl. What the hell is that? Is that a player? Please tell me that's a player CV, because if that's another Rados patrol vessel, I'm literally going to cry. This is it. This is my top speed right now. Come on, baby. You could do this. I think that's a player. That's got to be a player vessel, isn't it? Was certainly a player vessel. It is! Yay! Other players. Here we go. MDB? Templar Oz? Nice. That's a mighty boat for early game. That is a mighty boat. <laughs> they managed to get that already. And they were building that, or whatever, while that uh, Rados patrol vessel was dicking around. Fair play. Right, I'm going to try and limp home now. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> I'm so full of stuff. <laughs> this is the best I can do. <laughs> I can't I can't go any faster than this, I'm sorry. This may take a while. But uh worth it. Absolutely totally worth it. Goodbye, Rados Patrol Vessel. You suck. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, we're back. Everything's offloaded into um into the base uh let's see one of the things i want to do is go back to the polaris trade station and buy some seeds and stuff like that so let's see now if we can go locks and devices um can we make please sir uh we need plant fibers and wooden planks oh 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 cranky okay we are so out of wood I need to find magnesium and wood. Um, I haven't found any magnesium deposits so far. But then, you know, I've only explored a fraction of the planet here. I think I need, just need to fly around it a little bit more and see if we can find some magnesium. And uh, apparently I need to go and, and take the old hover miner out here and grind up some more trees. Uh, there are so few trees on this, this planet. I think it's probably better if I go back to Polaris territory uh, with the hover here. Uh, grind up the trees while I'm there. I don't think that's going to hurt my rep if I do that. And um, buy the seeds that I need while I'm down there. But yeah, I want to be able to start the garden. Get that going. Before we finish today's episode. Okay, I'm pretty much now full on logs. I'll just grab this one. And then I think that'll do. The thing's getting a bit sluggish to control now. <laughs> uh, let's head to the trade station then. I uh, just need to buy... I'm going to buy some seeds. I'm buy some meds as well, I think. Customary raptor greeting at the trade station here. Oh, I think I shot one of them by accident. I think I shot one of these guys by accident. I just saw 19, minus 19 Polaris rep come up. Oh god, another one. They're just everywhere around here, look. Why don't you guys help, you know? You literally, you could just shoot the living... Jesus. I hear the new cruiser can make the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. <laughs> Nobody can make the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. Oh dear. Anyway. Um, what am I doing here? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's sell some this meat to this guy. Hey, yeah. Buy my meat. Buy it all! Nine of it. There you go. 600 credits. Nothing to be sniffed at. So, um, I have... How much credits do I have? I have, uh, f let's say, because I, I gave myself uh, 200,000 for rewards of all the death races. 200 million, sorry. So I've got a 14,000 credits. So let's, uh, let's try not to take the P too much. Uh, I don't want you. What I'm here to do is buy seeds. I need this little dude up here. Hello, mate. All right. Yeah, seeds. Something I haven't actually, um got any at all really right so we need a natural sweetener uh we need um some pumpkins at least two of those i think do good a wheat um i mean something that gives uh buds these gives herbal leaves natural stimulant uh spice definitely two two spices mushroom would be, be useful actually one of those um fruit 
I need something that gives buds though, and I'm not seeing anything that gives buds. So I need the big, uh, the blue flower one, but that that's herbal leaves, tomato, fruit, plant protein, berries, veggies. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if. Um, well, I'll, I'll get one of these just in case it's labelled wrong or something like that. But there we go. Get some some sprouts. I mean, there's maybe more than, way more there than nine plots can manage, but I'll try and figure out uh, if there's a nine plot recipe for ration packs, or or even if it's just a nine plot recipe for burgers or something. You know, even if it has to sit in a fridge, it's fine. Okay, so I do want to buy some, some meds. Um, some of these are actually quite expensive. Um, so the the kits, for example, they're they're seventeen hundred each, but still, I think um, if I get like. Um, four of each that should be fine five of each that's probably gonna break me just that one <laughs> it's gonna take me over that that arbitrary 3000 that i've got <laughs> and there's uh, that's the most important one you get detox kits every five seconds let's get a few trauma kits they're two thousand each bloody hell all right fine there we go we've gone into our 200 million but who cares really <laughs> I want some races. What do you want? I want some bloody health kits. That's what I want. I just want some meds. Just to, to keep me going. Okay, there we go. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. I'll make it back. With selly stuff. Um, the other, I suppose, I suppose what I could do... I've got lots of stuff that I can sell, but I just... I know there's no one in that trade station buying it yet. But there are other Polaris structures around here uh, that I haven't checked yet. For instance, this one that we saw episodes ago this a looks really cool i've never seen this one before b i have no idea if oops it's got any traders in it or not well it does it does it has this little dude here um hi and you're oh see you're you i can buy crew off you but you're also buying luxury goods and narcotics emergency rations console decos Ah, <laughs> and furnishings and tech equipment and stuff like that. Amazing. Okay. So I can make a bazillion of those things and then just sell them all here. Fantastic. There's only electronics and, and plastic, I think, and that's 600 credits each. Well, that's pretty decent. Okay, so you're... you're um, that's a big win. That's glass. Can't get through there. Um, picking these dudes is a bad idea. It's a nice little base, this, actually. To be a nice one to set up as a player base. Very nice. Constructors and everything. Dumping two. <laughs> dumping one and dumping two. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool little base, this. Very compact. DB10, huh? Alright, nice. Well, good to know that we can actually make a fair bit of money off these guys if we uh, sell them the deco consoles um, and the furnishings and things like that. Nice. Okay, well, my next mission is to find some magnesium, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the, the SV, the Mirage, and fly around the planet a little bit and see if I can um, find a magnesium deposit, and then I'll dig it out by hand rather than trying to fly, fly this thing around the planet. It's, uh, this thing doesn't really turn, as you can tell. <laughs> Very lethargic in the left-right. Um, it's only got small left-right thrusters, you see. But, you know, there we go. So what I had to work with. Um, and then once I get the magnesium, I can make, make some more rockets for RSV. And with some more rockets and stuff, um, we can take on maybe uh, some Xerax and stuff. But I think also... Uh, we've got this thing to do as well. So, I, I haven't decided yet. Either in the next episode we're going to do the abandoned bunker, or we're going to go pick on some Xerax, depending on whether I find magnesium or not. Um, but that is going to be all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.